Today I'm going to be showing you guys how you can create this super cool glitched clone effect. Let's hop right into it. Alright guys, so we're in After Effects here. We have this footage pulled up from the Can Can Get Trolled music video. We just have one clip here. So to get started, we're just going to go ahead and rotoscope our clip. If you guys do not know how to do that, I have a tutorial linked in the description below. Most of you guys should know how to rotoscope by now, but if you don't, that is there. So we're going to cut them out from the background rotoscoping just like so. And once you guys have done that, we're going to duplicate the clip, go to the bottom one and delete the rotoscope off the bottom one. So the top layer is going to be the rotoscope version with no background. And then the bottom layer is going to be the normal clip that has the background all right so we're going to duplicate the rotoscope version two more times and then we're going to go over to effects and drag and drop this displacement map on here so we're going to drag and drop it on that one and then on this one here now what we're going to do is we're going to go to the first one here and we're going to play around with the displacements we have horizontal and vertical so dragging that to the side is going to allow us to move the distorted version of can over to this side and then same for this one we're just going to move can over there and you have this really cool glitched effect on those guys i really like the way that looks there if we go somewhere in the middle here you're going to have a look like that kind of want to have them closer to each other so we're gonna do this one here again and just bring them a little bit closer and then same for this one here we can sort that out and then going back to the top layer what i like to do for this is pressing s in our keyboard and scaling them up just so he's bigger in the scene and then going into transform going into position and just moving him around a little bit more to match so you can get an effect just like that so that's already a cool effect there guys if you guys want to add a little bit more sauce onto it let's keyframe the very beginning displacements for these two clips bring them back to five which was the base and then let's say for when we get to about here, we can bring them back to what they were. And then clicking on both of them, we can highlight the keyframes, press F9 to easy ease. And then we have a cool going out effect just like that. Super cool glitch clone. If you guys enjoyed this video and want to see more tutorials just like this, we have two banger videos lined up right here. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one.